Nuclear power is on a roll. In its latest success, Poland has authorized the construction of 24 small nuclear reactors at six sites across the country. And a good thing too, because electricity production in Poland is one of the most carbon intensive in the world, with still almost 70% of the electricity coming from coal. Nuclear power is back in fashion in many countries because of its potential to decarbonize even energy intensive industries quickly. The Japanese who shut down their nuclear power plants after the Fukushima accident in 2011 are using them again and they are planning to build new ones too. In California, environmentalists have stopped complaining about nuclear power and are now fighting to get the plants back online. In Sweden, teenagers demand that Greenpeace drops their resistance to nuclear power and even the Germans are rethinking their decision to phase out nuclear power. It's a good idea if you're worried about climate change because nuclear power has very low carbon dioxide emissions. Not such a great idea if you're worried about your money because nuclear power has the reputation of being expensive and slow. This is why the small modular reactors are such a game changer. The idea of small modular reactors is that they're built in a factory and shipped to location. Depending on how much power you need, you can connect several of them together. This has the potential to make the construction cheaper and faster. The reactors in Poland were approved earlier this month by the Polish Ministry of Climate and Environment. They'll all be built by GE Hitachi, a collaboration between US-based General Electric and Hitachi, a Japanese company. The reactor type is called BWRX300. The BWR stands for Boiling Water Reactor. These small reactors take two to three years to construct and can deliver up to 300 megawatts of power, which is enough to power approximately 2,400,000 homes. The small reactors run on enriched uranium and use a passive cooling technique which enhance safety features. In case of a loss of power, they can operate for up to seven days without the need for intervention. Poland is not the only country going for this idea. Earlier this year, the government of Ontario and Canada authorized the construction of a small modular reactor of the same type and in the summer upgraded their plan to four in total. The elephant in the room is the cost of these small modular reactors. While the company says that the costs will be significantly lower both per energy capacity and electricity produced, then for conventional large reactors, it remains to be seen whether this works out as desired. The future is bright. No, not like this. This concludes our science news for this year. We'll all take a two weeks break and then resume in the second week of January. I'm not supposed to tell you, but I'll tell you anyway that we have a video coming up on Saturday that'll look at the cost and time problem of nuclear power in great detail. So if you found this video interesting, come back on Saturday. And the quiz for this week's science news is also up, so go and check how much you remember. See you on Saturday.